Arizona Attorney General is so close it is going to a recount, but even before that process begins, the Republican candidate Abe Hamaday has filed a lawsuit. The initial county shows Hamaday trails his Democratic opponent Chris Mays by 510 votes. Political editor Dennis Welch has more on where things go from here. And Hamaday has said he's fighting for open and transparent elections. But in this lawsuit, he's asking for the courts to declare him the winner before a legally required recount has even begun. That request is part of the 24-page lawsuit filed late Tuesday, where Hamaday claims the election was mishandled and that various errors affected the overall outcome. As a result, Hamaday and his lawyers want a judge to block certification of the election and hand him the victory. In response, Hamaday's Democratic opponent, Chris Mays, essentially called the lawsuit frivolous. Mr. Hamaday's uh, complaint uh, is totally devoid of, of any facts uh, and is without merit. We will obviously be responding to it. In fact, uh, within a few days, we will be filing a motion to dismiss uh, that, that complaint. And, you know, I'm looking forward to moving on. We obviously have a recount coming up. There's a process for doing that recount. And then after that, I'm looking forward to being the Attorney General of Arizona. Since Election Day, the lead between Hamaday and Mays went back and forth. Early election night results showed Hamaday with a slim lead, and he declared victory that night, long before the counties finished their tallies. When the counting was complete, it showed Mays ahead with just 510 votes out of more than two and a half million ballots cast. And the recount is supposed to begin after the election is officially certified, which is set to happen early next month. Mays told me she's hopeful that it will be done before Christmas. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family. A disappointing